Hey, it's Jennifer. I'm here to do your daily vibes for Thursday, June 14th. This is for all signs. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid and this may not resonate with you. Okay, sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. June 14th, Nine of Pentacles. This is about independence, it's about abundance, it's about enjoying the finer things in life, being grateful for all that you have, all the lessons that you've learned, just being grateful, not sweating the small stuff. We have Judgment Reversed, The Wheel of Fortune, The Strength Card Reversed, The Ace of Wands Reversed. Somebody is not aware of all they have to be grateful for. Okay, with that Judgment Reversed right next to that, you might not be aware of how good you have it okay it's really a day to step back and think about all that you have and to be grateful okay somebody lacks awareness about how good things really are this is an ego card the strength reversed somebody is letting their ego drive I want more I want more. They feel like there's been no expansion, no growth. But whether you think that or not, there has been. Because the growth has been internal. Okay? It has. There's been internal growth. Whatever is happening is bringing you closer to your life's purpose. It is with the Wheel of Fortune. It's like you are, your, your life is changing. There's a change, of course, here that is supposed to, what's going on is we're all evolving. The world is changing. We're all waking up and somebody is refusing to wake up with the judgment reversed. Judgment up, what right is an awakening. Somebody doesn't want to see the, the new age or the new life or the new future or, you know, they're still thinking, they're still living out of their, ego okay their ego is still driving them when in fact the changes that are happening are meant to happen to shape you for the future refusing to grow refusing to wake up refusing the growth A lot of pride here. Negative pride. The moon card. Yeah, something's going on behind the scenes. There's hidden forces here. We're changing. We're evolving. It's not the same as it was yesterday or a year ago. We have the Five of Cups, the High Priestess, the Six of Cups, and the Queen of Swords reversed. I'm going to go ahead and get this zoomed in. Somebody is refusing to look at things from a new perspective, to look at life from a new perspective. Refusing. Staying stuck, staying stuck in their own ways, refusing to change. I refuse. I refuse to go with the flow. I refuse to change. I'm going to stay right where I'm at. This refusal 
to be grateful for all that you have, this refusal to be grateful for all that you have and all that you are, is not bringing you adequate growth. It's not. It's not. There's no fertility or expansion in this mindset. There isn't. Times change. Every day we evolve. The world is always spinning as the wheel is always spinning. These, these changes that are happening in the world and in your life are bringing you closer to your life's purpose. But you have the control to accept it or not. Free will always plays a part. Somebody is refusing to accept this growth that is being given to them. This, this moon card, this is fear. Beware. When there's a full moon, beware. Beware. All is not as it seems. There's hidden forces here. The universe is bringing these changes as we all evolve in this time period. But somebody is, is still... having a big having a lot of difficulty having a lot of emotional difficulty letting go of the past letting go of the old not seeing that there's new opportunities being handed to them being given to them being shown to them still only focusing on the old refusing to grow with the high priestess this is part of the script it's part of your script Change is part of the script. The script has already been written. Yeah, you can fight it. You can fight it. But eventually, we'll have a tower moment that pushes you to accept the truth of this change. Eventually. Your intuition has been telling you that there's something more, that, that, that th these changes are coming. Your intuition has been telling you that it's time. It's time for a new chapter. It's time for um, a new phase to begin. Your intuition's been telling you that. You know it has. But you've been resisting it. Because the past, the memories of the past, are so haunting. Somebody is weak. They lack the courage with the strength card reversed to step outside of their ego self and allow this growth. I don't have the courage. I, I have to stay with what I know. I have to stay in my past. I need to stay in the past because I have this fear of the unknown. I refuse. I refuse to look at life from a new perspective even though I know that it's time to do so. Today is a day about realizing what you have to be grateful for. Acknowledging and accepting the lessons that, that you have learned as tools for the future and allowing these changes to come in and being grateful, being grateful for for everything. It's a day of, of realizing, really waking up, accepting change. There is a hidden force that is kind of like begging you to be open to new possibilities.
to look at things in a new light, to look at things in a new light. So that your growth can truly happen. Stop fighting it. Stop. The storm is over. If you would let it be. Let it be. Somebody is refusing to wake up. They're refusing to forgive. They're refusing to release the past and become a new person. When in fact they know the time is now. So I feel as though today is a day where you are being called to be grateful for everything. It's a day of inner abundance. Finding that inner abundance with everything that you have been through. And allowing this new chapter to begin. There's a change of course right in front of you. And you're going to have to find your strength that is lacking to allow it to happen. card when I'm flying. That's got to be it. Oh my goodness gracious. It's a perfect card. Look at that. I'm telling you. They're telling you. It is time. It's time. It's time for a new beginning. It's time to let go of the past and follow the written script. The written script is right destiny, the Wheel of Fortune with the High Priestess, they're together. This is destiny. This is part of the script. These changes are happening for a reason. Stop resisting it. And as I'm talking to you, you guys all know, every single one of you that are watching this, most of you, 90% of you, know what it is that you're resisting. Whatever you are resisting right now in your head, is not supposed to be resisted. These changes are happening because you are evolving. Let go. Once you let go of the outcome, you'll be able to release all the emotional constraints that have held you back in the past. Trust in the higher good and guidance of spirit as we have only your best intentions at heart and will do everything in our power to protect you let go of the outcome trust the written script if it's meant to be it will be and if it's not meant to be you can't make it be let go of the past. Let go of the outcome. Once you let go of the outcome, you'll be able to release all the emotional constraints that have held you back in the past. This card just summed up my whole reading. So today is about accepting the change. And it makes complete sense the day after the new moon in Gemini. Accept the change. Stop resisting. There's a change of course. A new chapter is beginning. In the past, those are memories. 
It's not meant to come with you. Talk to you later.